Hello. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, internet people. It's Ada Hunter again, and I am playing Never Alone again. <laughs> I'm gonna try to beat this tonight. I'm still up with her. Okay. Ah. Oh. Immediately fall into ice fights. That's a great way to start this. Great way to ah jump. Oh, that was the worst time to jump, I think. Okay. I think it was okay to jump there. Took me forever last time. Now we just need to go to soul. Not really a soul. Wee! Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. That was dumb. Okay, that uh, side apparently is spikes, which are death to touching. plan to stand there.
Bayok toa ka niya na kami kanga nun hinig pa siyong. Nibiyak siya ka luwalog isyong miksok surok raw ti lamin yun. Oh. Gotta hit that man in the face with my addle addle. Oh, those spikes are immediately deadly. <coughs> they don't look immediately deadly. They look like uh, they would immediately cause injury, but not death. what I really want to know. Okay, it looked like I was about to fall. Polyramic to Kenyak to a Ulimautic Puck. To you, Mount Ulimautic Puck, a relic to Nakilatahutic. In your passion, Malikata Laura, Angolaika, Okilav Luni. Away he went with, with, uh, with the days as the giant man shoveled the snow, creating blizzard after blizzard. However, the big man soon saw him as he grabbed the Adaz Adze and ran off with it.
dumb sometimes. down his shovel, climbed up from the flat tundra, and ran after Kunuyasuku, but Kunuyasuku was just too fast. Oh, I'm back here. I think I'm too 
fast is how much of the wind is too strong. <coughs> Ow. can grab the dead box. Not sure why I didn't see that coming, but... those you can't mess up situations. Off he had run with the Adaze Ad in his hand. The big man chased him without catching him. Bear killed me. Not 
by eating me, mind you, which would have been hilarious. Loading. <laughs> Kau <laughs> Ule <laughs> Well, Terrigan Nam, look at Pam, who had loud to go on a very share a roll. Ilanin in your near a law of it. How long a law of it? I should love it. It cuts a regime. I see the world I just beat this game. That was really awesome. It was very pretty. Very simple. But still very pretty. I am going to load up a new game. Because, well, quite frankly, I just beat this one. No, I wasn't too far from the end. I have to say I'm very glad that I beat that I played this game and I beat it. It was very enjoyable. It was very zen. It was a nice relaxing sort of game. <clears throat> hmm. But now it leaves me to wonder what kind of game should I play next? Are there any suggestions? Any suggestions for what to play next? Hand of Fate? That's one vote. Any others? 
that thing? Alright. I can totally play, uh, Hand of Fate. And fate is what it will be then. Oh. I want to see this though. With the story of Kunuk Sayuka, told by Robert Cleveland, it's just a, it's just a masterwork. It's a well-known story among the Inupiaq people, and in our case of producing a video game that really reflects indigenous heritage it's it captures the imagination and it's something that you have a very specific kind of task to do but there's a blizzard you know and it is just a non-stop blizzard that is overpowering the people and there's one man that wants to figure it out and in our case of the story, it's a girl that wants to find the source of that blizzard. The blizzard man, it's like that is the physical embodiment of an element of nature. And so there's a person that needs to go up and take away that, that adds, that's chipping away that, that snow. In that community, the person least expected is the one who stands up and makes the difference. Humility is something that we value, and where that comes from is the idea that you are not the biggest thing in the world. And when you live in an extreme environment like where the Inuit reside, you are at the whim of the environment, of the climate, of the animals. You can be as prepared as you can, you know, by learning from your elders that you know you're not the biggest force in the world. Okay. Well, that was fun.